Welcome to Shopstick Travel. I'm Luke Martin and today I'm in Bacolod here in the Western Visayas in the Philippines. This is a lesser known destination, but if you ask any Filipino where is the best food in the Philippines, quite often you're going to hear Bacolod. So I'm going to be meeting up with a local. We're going to be checking out some of the restaurants here in Bacolod and also cooking some traditional food. It's going to be a great episode. Make sure you stay tuned until the end. Let's go eat some Filipino food. So I'm with Carlo, we're in Bacolod. This is your city. Thank yeah. you for inviting me out. Welcome. And Welcome. we're gonna be eating a lot of food today, right? Of course. A lot of food. But we've come to- First stop, Bob's. Yeah. And this is, you told me this is the oldest restaurant here in Bacolod. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Since when? 1965, I think. And it's uh, it's been an institution. Let's it's go. the first stop. Yeah, let's go. So Marianne, this is your grandfather's restaurant, right? My, yes, it? my yes. grandparents. Your grandparents, yeah. okay. So what's the, the name Bob's, where does that come from? It's a coincidence because my dad's name is Bob and okay. my mom's brother is also Bob, but it's not at all related because Bob's restaurant came from Bob's Big Boy, which happens to be their um, inspiration, okay. I guess you can call it that. Mm -hmm. My grandfather was a doctor, so um, he was doing his residency in the States, and every day they would eat at Bob's. So when they came home, they carried the name. The name, yeah, and yeah. I can feel the like American diner atmosphere. Yeah, here too. and before it was like a drive-in, and people would park okay. their cars, and waiters would serve there mm -hmm. on trays. And the you food you're serving is? It's super diverse. Mm -hmm. There's Filipino, there's there's American, there's it's actually a mix. I'm excited to yeah, try it. Yeah. Yeah, thanks yeah. for having me. Of course, yeah. thanks for coming. All right, Carla, we've got breakfast here. Tons of different foods. What do we have on the table? What's this? Well, this is Filipino traditional breakfast. This is, we call this chorizo pud pud, right? Chorizo. Yeah, it's okay. more on the uh, Spanish um, influenced dish. Right. Yeah, with some rice, egg, rice, pickles. Egg. This is tapa, Filipino favorite okay. breakfast. So it's beef. Log. It's beef. It's beef, okay. It's like a jerky. So this is like bread with cheese, it looks like. Yeah, yeah? Okay. Saimada. And then also hot chocolate, which is pretty Hot chocolate with uh, rice krispies, pinipig. With rice krispies? And yeah. You, you sprinkle the rice krispies yes. right on top? Okay. Beautiful looking ground up sausage. And grab a little bit of these pickles maybe. These are family recipes. Mm. A couple little crispy bits in there. Some fatty pieces. The pickles are actually a little bit sweet too. Wow. Yeah, not spicy, but a lot of flavor in there. So this is like okay. bigger chunks of beef with this really rich looking sauce. Wow. Gotta get a little bit of rice too. Yeah, I'm gonna take this with rice. Mmm, whoa. Good, right? I love it, yeah. Like a soy flavor. A little bit of sweetness, but it's mm. not over the top. It's a good breakfast item. Dip it in vinegar. Dip it in vinegar. You'll hear that a lot in the Philippines. <laughs> Everything's dipped in vinegar here. Grab a piece. Up the top out here. Go for a little dip in the vinegar. Oh yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Really well balanced. Yum. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's try this. What what, what did you call this one again? In Ensaimada. Ensaimada. Yeah. And just go for a bite? Yeah, just go for a bite. So it's like a super soft, fluffy bread with some cheese melted on top. Yeah. Oh. Mm. Yum. It's good. Mm -hmm. One of the best in Saimada here in Bacolod. It tastes almost like a really soft donut with contrasting with a little bit of savoriness from that cheese. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good breakfast item. That's pretty cool. I've never seen that before. Dried rice krispies with hot chocolate. Mm. Wow. They stay crunchy too. They don't get soggy. And it's not too sweet either. Yum. It's like a version of a Liquid chocolate. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So we have uh, another breakfast spread here. What do we got, Carlo? This I is I think this soup. is pancit molo. Pancit one of molo. the okay. Ilongo's favorite when it comes to snacks. Mm -hmm. And then we've got here in the middle the satay babi. This is famous of Bob's mm -hmm. menu, I think. 
grilled on charcoal, yeah. covered in this beautiful satay sauce. sauce. Fried, lumpia, fresh yeah. lumpia ubud. Mm -hmm. Looks like maybe bamboo yeah. shoots bamboo in there shoots, too. Yeah, yeah, and some garlic vinegar. Yeah. And then look at this super colorful fruit punch. Fruit punch. Okay, yeah. thank you. Look at that beautiful wonton in there. Yum. How do you think? It's very light. I thought it might be spicy, but it's not at all. I'm really looking forward to this because I've heard a lot about the satay babi here. And you can have it any time of day, breakfast, okay. lunch, dinner. Take it. All right. Look dip at it all in a bit. You, you want to taste it as it is first, or you want to dip it in the vinegar? Well, I want to be as Filipino as possible. Well, dip it a in little vinegar. dip in the vinegar. <laughs> all, right. all right, a little bit of garlic vinegar here. So, how is it? Oh, man. It's really good, right? That is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's got a really tangy barbecue flavor, really saucy, but the meat, nice and tender. Take a little sip. Yeah. Cheers. And then we mix mm. it. Mm. Fruity. Very fruity. fruity. Yeah. Yep. Then we have some watermelon. It. Yeah. Yep. Mix it up. Halo halo style. Then you take uh, take a fruit. Take a take a spoonful. Yeah. Okay. Yep. There's tons of different fruits in there. Mm. Mm. Refreshing. <laughs> so refreshing. Perfect way to finish an. A good meal, right? Mm -hmm. Perfect way to start our day. Yeah. <laughs> eating here in Bacolod. Wow. All right, man. That was Bob's. Wow. I Food think... is really, really nostalgic. Where are you taking me next? So we'll go up to the mountains. Okay. We'll check some uh, native chicken farm. Mm -hmm. It's like um, uh, wild chickens that wild we'll cook. Chickens. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. So we're heading up into the mountains, about 25 minutes outside Bacolod, and it is so green and lush here. And this is Inasal country. So grilled chicken. We're heading to a farm, a chicken farm. And uh, Carlo is a chef, so he's gonna be preparing us uh, some traditional native Bacala dishes. <laughs> this is pretty crazy. So we're at the chicken farm now. Yeah, and, we're uh, at the mountains, up in the mountains. Yeah. On a native chicken farm owned by a friend, LTP Farm. Okay, and we're gonna get one of these chickens. Yeah, and then we're gonna have to cook three ways of it. All right, traditional bacala style cooking. Traditional everything. Yeah. In a sal, papisikan, it's like cooked, it's like an oven style cooked in salt. All right. And then uh, we have this soup. Chicken with, soup. With uh, coconut juice in it. All right, I'm excited. Let's go get one of these chickens. They must have hundreds of chickens here and uh, they just put the feed out. One of these guys is gonna be unlucky lunch today. All right, we got about three or four big chickens. It's pretty muddy, rain's coming down. We're gonna head into uh, one of their little buildings here and uh, cook up the chicken. Carlo, we've got the final product of the chicken. Yeah, this is a freshly slaughtered one. Yeah. It, the meat will taste sweet. And we've also got this beautifully smelling marinade yeah. here. What we it's got in there? It's a personal um, uh, formulated recipe of mine. It's okay. an authentic flavor in a sal concoction. I smell some ginger in there, yeah. some vinegar, vinegar, lots of vinegar for sure. Yeah. How long do we have to marinate this chicken? Around 25 minutes will do. So everything here is traditional, even the knife. Mm. Yeah, there. Yeah. And then right in the marinade. Right in the marinade. So what do we have here, Carlos? Some innards? So innards, liver. this is the liver and yep. the gizzard. gizzard we'll have okay. to um, skewer. skewer it mm -hmm. and then marinate it for a while. Mm -hmm. And this will also be grilled? Yeah, this yep. will be grilled. This, right. this will taste fantastic. Okay. All right. Yeah. And that goes right in that right same in marinade. The, yeah. So we prepared an oil here too. Look at the color, that super rich red color. So it's vibrant. What, what did you put in here? It's a mix of garlic, uh, chicken fat, oil, 
and ashiote seeds. Ashiote seeds. Okay, so yeah. really unique ingredient. And then you'll use that basting it on the yeah. grill? Yeah. Right on. Oh, you gotta baste it. It uh, smells so, so good. That it will really look authentic. Besides the NSL, we're also cooking a couple other dishes. What do you got? Yeah, go, uh, it's called in our uh, longo term, in our own language, we call it papisik, which we are cooking inside a bed of salt. A bed of salt uh, with yeah, chicken? Uh, chicken stuffed with uh, lemongrass. Wow. So any, I'll show you. Sure. Almost not like much. a baked chicken yeah, with not, salt? Yeah, not yep. much ingredients because there's uh, there are no ingredients really in the mountains. Simple Just, cooking? Yeah, simple cooking. Mm -hmm. All about that chicken flavor. Yeah. yeah so chicken's been marinating for about 25 minutes. Yeah. Taking it up to the grill, using charcoal on the grill, I'm guessing? Charcoal? You bet. Yeah, okay, good. So I'm here with the owner of the farm. You, How many chickens do you have? Almost a thousand. Almost a thousand, wow. And he's just offered me a San Miguel Pilsen. Cheers, thank you for having me. <laughs> Load it up. You can see all that ginger sticking to the outside of the chicken too. All right. And then baste it with oil. The rich color of that oil. Look at that. And that's from the this achiote is, yeah, seeds, right? This is freshly made out of that kitchen. And then garlic, yeah. chicken fat. Yeah. Look at that red. Look at that smoke from the dripping oil onto the charcoal. Wow. That'll add a lot of flavor too. I'll flip it over. I'll flip it over yeah, so you okay. can base the other side. Yeah. I want to get this completely soaked in to the wow. meat. Wow. It's like an artist's work. <laughs> it's like you're painting Mona Lisa <laughs> inside the chicken. I think it's more beautiful. <laughs> You can see that marinade and the oil starting to caramelize on the outside, a little bit of charred bits on there. And this is next level Filipino barbecue. My mouth is watering. Look at this, look at this, look at this. That is a beauty. Wow, barbecue chicken to the max. Extra chicken oil, just to make it silky smooth. This is the final result. My mouth is watering. This is seriously delicious looking uh, in SL. And then we've also got a setup over here for uh, making a chicken soup. And then there's another chicken dish. So it's a chicken day here in Bacolod. So we'll be assisted by the brother of uh, the owner. We'll uh, cook a pure native chicken soup called mm -hmm. Tinola with nothing on it, but ginger, lemongrass, and some onions. Nice. In with the ginger, in with the onions, and that's it? That's it. Wow. So this is the papisig, the baked chicken with the salt, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh, wow. That smells phenomenal, wow. You can smell that lemongrass, so fragrant. Chicken is baked nice. You can see some of the lemongrass sticking out the bottom there. Thank okay. you. Okay, that's the price. And then pour a little chicken oil on the rice. Okay, a little bit of this oil right on the rice. Oh wow. yeah, that looks amazing on that white rice. And then crushed and then some garlic. Of this garlic, this fried crushed garlic. Oh, thank you. Beautiful. So our rice is prepared. Okay. So what part do you want? Do I'm gonna go the for the, the, the leg. leg. Yeah, okay. I think this one looks good. I'll right go here. for the breast part. All right, look at that. Beautiful. So we're just going in with our fingers. Yeah. All right, let's go in with our hands. Oh man, that is juicy, delicious chicken. Oh man. Mm. <laughs> oh yeah. Chase it with a little bit of rice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm. That's seriously next level Filipino barbecue. Look at this. Beautiful, beautiful chicken. And I love it. With that oil. Wow. Mm. Next we will try is the liver. Okay. Okay. Get some. Mm -hmm. Let's try it. Mm. It's very creamy. Mm. Very faint iron flavor. I'm gonna take this recipe back home with me. <laughs> I love this barbecue chicken. Wow. Mm. So, so onto the next dish, look at that. 
Oh, wow, another drumstick. Wow. This one's piping hot. So this is very simple, just with that uh, lemongrass, which is very fragrant, and then a little bit of salt. Natural flavor mm. of the chicken. The lemongrass is amazing. It's really strong, actually, even though it's just stuffed inside. Mm. It's infused into the meat. The meat of the chicken is really, really good. Mm -hmm. This is how they produce chickens here in this farm. Yeah. Native chickens here mm. in Bacolod. This is the dish to try in Bacolod, in a cell. Taking a break from the inner cell to check on the chicken. I can smell that lemongrass. It smells so fragrant. And just a little bit of onions and ginger in there as well. Mm -hmm. What part do you want? Still the leg part? Ah, sure, okay. whatever. Give me a drumstick. I'll be happy with that. Wow, wow that's soft. Look, Look at, at that. that. Look at that. So soft. So the flavor is all here. Have a little mug of soup. Yeah. Ginger, chili, lemongrass, chicken, onions. Oh, yeah, it's perfectly seasoned. Yeah, yeah. It gives you comfort in this kind of weather. Yeah, a little bit rainy today. Yeah, that's perfect. So this is the chicken from the Tinola dish. <laughs> from the Tinola. Look at how oh, tender man, this that is. is. Seriously hot. Yes. How are you doing that? <laughs> well, I'm used to <laughs> dip it in the soup, reducing yeah. it, reducing. Mm. Mm. Oh. That's comforting. Mm -hmm. That's perfect uh, Filipino comfort food most um, natural tasting chicken you can ever have. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank See you, you again, okay? Up. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Wow, what a meal. My first Inasal experience here in Bacolod, the home of Inasal. I love the garlic uh, achiote seed oil with it. So good. It's time for dessert though. Let's go. <laughs> We've driven back down into Bacolod town. We've come to this place called Kwan, and they specialize in local uh, Filipino desserts. delicacies. Yeah. yeah, and here in Bacolod, it's very famous for the sugar. A lot of sugar is exported around the world from Bacolod. Yeah, and then Kwan um, uh, concentrates on merienda sena. We call it merienda sena. It's a mid-afternoon snack. Okay. So we're pretty stuffed after that chicken, but uh, I'm ready for some sweets. It's really famous here in Bacolod, so let's try it out. So the lovely folks here at Kwan Delicacy have brought us out <laughs> pretty much A everything lot. on the menu, it looks like. But uh, we're going to try some of them out, but I need your expert help on identifying what we have here. So In our own dialect, we call this Kalamay Hati. It's made from sugar, coconut, okay. glutinous rice, wow, el sticky. Yeah, this is my favorite. This is cassava cake. Cassava made, cake, yeah. okay. Napoleonas. Nice. Nap Napoleonis, okay. their, own, their own version. It's okoy made from shrimp. Um, shrimp? Yep. And then back here looks like some coconut. Inday inday. This is inday inday. This is coconut. glutinous flour with coconut and then topped it with uh, muscovy de sugar. Wow, okay. Yeah. This is puto cochinta. Also a glutinous flour. This is the famous piaya. Piaya. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then this is the black cochinta. So many yeah. different desserts. We gotta try it this one because it's yeah. calling my name. It looks okay. like a, almost like a chocolate pudding or something. I know it's it's not, but it's it looks sticky. like it. Yeah. Wow. Oh man. All right. Let me try it out. Mm. It's good. It's basically mochi. The little bit of coconut almost flavor. Mochi. Mm -hmm. Wow. Very, very chewy. What did you say the name was again? Inday Inday. Served on a, looks like a banana yeah. leaf. And then you have to scoop some muscovado sugar, put some. Thing All right, on so some like brown sugar there. Yeah. Coconut, glutinous rice. Yep. All right. Mm. Very, very traditional tasting. Mm -hmm. Very coconut flavor. Do yeah. you like it? Mm hmm. Coconut, yeah. really strong flavor on this one. Oh, that's really good. It's, it's really light. good. It's light. Yeah. Mm. So a little dip in the vinegar. Yeah. This is very crunchy feeling. I know it's gonna be uh, messy. Mm. Mm. Super crunchy. Shrimpy. Yeah, a little bit of seafood flavor. Yeah. Balanced with the vinegar though. Mm -hmm. Very Filipino tasty. Oh man, that was a lot of sweets. Bacola, like I said, is a major exporter of sugar. So as you can imagine, they have a wide variety of sweets, we are still going for more food this evening. Red snapper. Red snapper. 
kg. Maybe my nine kilos. Nine kilos. Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. Nice. Uh, low line. Bam. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let me take a picture. So the Philippines is an archipelago of islands. There's gotta be good seafood. Where have you brought me tonight? Right now we're in Jota, it's the very popular place to go to seafood mm -hmm. and a very wide variety of seafood yeah. you can choose from. Check out all these seafoods. Yeah. We've got some slipper lobsters here. There's snappers and uh, marlin groupers I see, some uh, blue crabs. And uh, there's one special uh, clam back here. What did you say this clam? This was? is, we call this the wall. It's an angel wing clams. Only comes out once Look at that. in a year. Look at that. Look at that. It reminds me of a uh, gooey duck. Smile. Smile. <laughs> Abalone? Abalone. Yeah. <laughs> so some of our seafood has arrived. I'm already seriously impressed. This scallop dish looks incredible. Look it's like at that. Lightning fast too. Yeah, I mean it came right out. That was only maybe two or three minutes. Looks like some garlic. Uh, yeah, it's just grilled scallops. Grilled, yeah. And then what yep. do we got here, Carla? This is a grilled blue marlin, one of the nicest fish you'll have. Wow, look at that char on that marlin. Yep. Beautiful. I think we got to go the for a scallop. Oh, wow. perfect. A little bit of oil in there. Cheers. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's got so a similar good. flavor. Yeah. Uh, as the chicken earlier, actually. Because of the asciote oil. The asciote oil, right. That is a seriously thick cut of marlin. Look at that. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful. And I might go for a little squeeze of, of calamansi. Uh, calamansi. Juice me in, man. Yeah, Juice yeah, there me you in. go. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. You don't have to complicate fresh fish. Mm -hmm. It's as good as its own. A little bit of garlic on yeah. top. Yeah. Incredible. Carlo, what have we gotten ourselves into? <laughs> Wow, <laughs> this is a feast Jesus. for more than a family can take. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easily. We have some incredible looking seafood. So first off over here, what do we have? This is a beautiful looking yeah, fish the, head soup, right? I think that this fish is a barracuda fish. Barracuda fish, yeah. okay. It's tinola, cooked Tin tinola way. Tinola, okay. Yeah, and then we've got the slipper lobster here steamed. in the middle, Yeah. covered in sauce. We've got some prawns back here as well. Blue crab. Blue crabs, steamed, and then- Angel the, wing clams. Yeah, the angel wings. And these are a very seasonal yeah, thing, right? Very Only, rare. Yeah, very rare. Only about two months out of the year. And what is this dish here? This is ceviche. I think this is tangige, um, swordfish. Swordfish. And what do you call ceviche here? Kinilao. Kinilao, okay. Kinilao. So raw fish with uh, coconut milk, is it? Or just lime just, juice in this one? No, it's just vinegar. Vinegar, and oh, okay. A little calamansi. And calamansi, okay. Yeah. And they even have inasal here too. <laughs> so <laughs> not strictly seafood, but uh, wow, my mouth is watering. This is just absolutely incredible. Let's dig in. So we're gonna start you with the, the fish head. The fish head, and there's some green tomatoes in there, some chilies. I'm guessing oh, it's gonna be like a sour, sour soup. Whoa. Yum. Yeah, reminds me of like a sinigang. Actually, they used bat one in it. Yeah, I love it. Nice and sour. Mm. I think this is probably the thing I'm most excited for, the angel wing clams. And look at this. Should there be. is so much meat in there. That is insane. That is absolutely crazy. And there's a little bit of juice at the bottom of this pan. I'm gonna go for Reduce it. Extra <laughs> juicy. Whoa. I can taste some coconut in there, for sure. Fresh coconut flavor? It's the freshness that, uh, it's, a na it's natural. There's no any There's coconut. no coconut in there? That's the pure flavor of it. Wow, it tastes like a tropical fruit mm -hmm. almost. All okay. right, let's go for a half Slipper of this. Lobster. Slipper lobster. Look at that. Wow. Beautiful sauce. It's just the tail part, I think. Yeah. Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that was easy. Came right out. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. 
fresh seafood, man. Wow. I get, don't even know how to describe it. It's just so good. <laughs> Kinilao in our own dialect. Kinilao, okay. Yeah, ceviche. This, ceviche is a, yeah. this is a very, very traditional one. Mm -hmm. Just soaked in vinegar. Mm -hmm. Swordfish, then, yeah. a little bit of onions, some green tomatoes yeah. as well. Wow. Mm. I love the sourness in mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. Taste that calamansi. And then a little kick with the chili in it. This is crazy I'm good. Loving, I'm loving this place. So Bacalod isn't just amazing for its uh, incredible chicken, but of course, you gotta come here for the seafood too. Yeah. yeah. Out of all the dishes on the table, these angel clams are definitely my favorite. If you come here to Bacalod during March and April, you gotta try the angel wing clams. Yeah. Incredible. They also have their own house vinegar here with tons of chilies in there. Go for a little dip, one of these shrimps. Mm, wow. Yeah. The shrimp is sweet on its own. And then a little bit of heat from those chilies, sourness okay. from the vinegar. This is just an incredible meal. Wow. I'm blown away. <laughs> Carlo, thank you so much, yeah. man, for showing me around Bacalod. We still got another big day tomorrow of eating, though. Yeah. But uh, wow, what a day of eating and finishing off our day here. Did Jota blew your mind? Yeah, yeah, it blew my mind. The seafood here is just incredibly fresh. You can't find anywhere in the world, oh. in the Philippines, I mean. So delicious. Uh, yeah. Everything here uh, in Bacalod has been awesome. So make sure if you guys haven't already, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you're notified. See you guys on the next episode.